Hey everybody and welcome back. It's time for game four of EA versus Palantir. Look at how excited. So excited. Look at the excitement. So excited. Just, I'm, I'm bubbling. I've You're never bubbling. bubbled before, but this is happening now. It's a medical condition. We should move on. Okay, yeah. So, so far, EA up 2-1 to one against Palantir. Both teams looking to uh, get into fourth place in their division, trying to get a 3-3 record. That would allow them to possibly go up to third next week, the final week of the regular season. So the tournament is kind of on the line here for these for these teams. Yeah, this is they need this win. This is for some of them their last shot at happiness. Wow. I mean, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it's tough. So I'm gonna start the game. Do that. And the bottom right on Star Station, we have the Red Terran. Playing for Team Palantir, Excal. Excal being the trendier version of a sword that will make you the king of England since, you know, the 90s rolled around. It's just way cooler to drop the lever. And in the top right, the blue Terran, Mava. Or Miva. Is it Mava? I'm gonna say Mava. You can say Mava. Like, the state of Va is in some dispute. Like, it may Va, it may not Va. It, it might. It might Va. Okay, so Vuz notwithstanding, we got a TBT here. Yeah, between Xcal, interestingly, played CSL for Stanford. Oh, he makes a star. Oh, that's pretty. I make a star. Nobody cares about my stars, though, because I'm in B League. <laughs> Nonetheless, he's able to bond with the A-listers. Mava refusing to make a star, clearly going to lose this game. Yeah. To Xcal. Stars are like 95% of TBT. Yeah, look at this. This is... <laughs> <laughs> It's even yeah. a patrol star. He, Dang, he knows blue. what is not gonna. He didn't give me the rest of the syllables. I was doing Look it at that. See, it makes your it makes your barracks go down faster too. Look at well, that. Yeah, he's he's just building he's up momentum. Five, he's got four seconds on Mava. That's an age-old construction tip. The masons of old used to stand around in pentagrams before slamming down their tools and starting the. Yeah, you just draw. You just draw a chalk star on it. Yeah, before you start. And then you get to work on. I feel like our rambling is actually giving some producer an idea for the next uh, National Treasure movie. I really doubt that the producers for National Treasure are watching. But if they are, you heard it here first. You owe us some licensing fees or something. I don't know. I sure. think I think that's most of our demographic. Like, it's it's computer science majors, 10%, and then 90% Hollywood producers. Hollywood executives. Yeah. Oh, okay. You've been reading into those stats pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. And so Marines coming out for both players, both players with gas as well. They might be looking to get a scouting reaper after this first uh, Terran, or the first Marine. It's pretty common. Uh, especially on a map as large as Star Station. And Mava with no clue where his opponent is yet, he may be looking to, yup, there it is, there's the reaper. Yeah. He wants to go find his opponent and maybe get into the base to get some scouting because it will be all walled off. And sad faces. He'll notice that. Speaking of sad Indeed. faces, the Scouting Reaper in a TVT is not the happiest of units. It is one of the most likely units to die in a very sad and disappointing manner early in the game. Yeah, when he's trying to jump away from something. Yeah, in and particular. he just he just hits the ground in a heap. It's heartbreaking. And here he goes, ready to start life. Gonna seize the day Off with his jetpacks and double guns and everything exactly. is awesome and peanut butter and unicorns and I don't know what Reapers like. Cliffs? Probably peanut butter and unicorns. I think that's pretty universal. Maybe cliffs with a lot of mattresses stacked up at oh, the bottom. So of Mava them. will distract the uh, the Marines right as the Reaper jumps up into the main. We'll see if he can get any kills out of this. Probably not with that reduced four damage on the Reapers. He's still He's chewing away though. Around. Chewing away. Just gonna and, get shot uh, a little. Yeah, the Marines come in and little the shot. will be forced out. But he's gonna go right back in. Oh, yep. Yeah, seize the day, little Reaper. You got <laughs> this. And a good scout from Mava. A really good solid. scout, and he's building his expansion behind it, which is good. He knows exactly what enemy forces he's up against, and he knows he's perfectly safe to grab that CC. Yeah, and Excal knows nothing about this. We'll see uh, double tech labs coming from Mava. Um, probably siege tanks then. I doubt he'll build anything else with that. Oh, poor did little explodey SCD. Did, did that get in? Oh, did see? oh, I did see the command center. Reaper getting chased around by Hellions now, and he makes it out. I'm rooting for this guy. He's got one kill. He managed to hurt something. And we should see a Banshee here from Excal. Yep. 
as he throws down the command center, he knows that Meva is expanding, so he can get a command center of his own. Uh, the uh, Hellions will go on a scouting run, checking out the front, seeing when that command center lands, because he should have control over these two Marines. These Marines could Actually, be in trouble. He just go after those two Marines. Oh, yes. good split from Meva. But Excal, sensing that there's not much up here, can just take out those Marines and now has pretty much free reign of the main. And here's the Ooh, tank. Just as the tank comes out. Build order and there's the Reaper. Out. No, Mava Reaper. <laughs> That's not your job. <laughs> Mava Reaper uh, diverging a little bit from his scouting technique and almost dying. Dude, you were lucky to survive the four minute mark. Don't be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. We will see that Banshee from Excal, and Cloak is researching. This is this is like the promiscuous girl in a uh, a horror movie, just starting to pick up baseball bats and going after Jason Voorhees. That's not don't do that. That's the opposite of a good plan for you. <laughs> Excal wanting to get a little bit of a heal on these Hellions before they go out again. Two of them were hurt. One of them very significantly. They wouldn't have been able to hold very much under under uh, firepower. And the Maver Reaver going to scout again. Getting Cloak. Not something I've seen a lot in uh, Heart of the Swarm. There's a, a little bit more detection available. A little bit more uh, anti-air, typically from all races, especially Terran. But uh, it looks like he's oh, wanting... the Reaper. The he's, Reaper dies. He's wanting to slow down his economy, maybe bleed out a couple of those... Uh, Scans and Excal's done a great job of moving the army away from that watchtower in order for this uh, Banshee to get in here while simultaneously moving in with the Hellions of the natural He's going to get one or two kills here as the Banshee moves in It does have cloak cloak is finished these Hellions chasing off the SCVs one marine comes in to defend three marines come in to defend Nothing is chasing off this Banshee though, and it's got six kills Hellion's still going at it. Marines finally clean that up. There was a Viking out. Oh, there it is. It arrives on the scene, but Cloak from Excal. And 10 kills on the Sergeant Banshee as he runs out of the scan. Run out of the scan! Run out of the scan. All right, he makes it out of the scan range, and he's just going to go right back to murdering. Yeah, he still has 50 energy. He could probably take out tanks if he wanted to. But he's not. Yeah, very Dang important. Excal. 15 workers dropped and a scan was burned, chasing away that Banshee. That was incredibly costly, highly effective harassment for Maro Banshee. And we can see another Banshee coming in for Excal, getting three kills before the Viking comes. It dodges the scan and moves in for more as the first Banshee goes to the natural. Oh, this is not looking good for Mava, the spooky Terran being attacked by cloaked Banshees. Ah, uh, and, you know, I, I said this was extremely effective harassment when I thought it was going to be over soon. This is upgraded to horrifically destructive, catastrophic harassment. So many workers have died. Scans have been dropped at least three. That's three mules on top of all the murdered workers and lost mining time. And Excal also oh, has... No. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Taking out one Viking and wounding the rest. For free, that widow mine just hanging out there. Oh, I mean, why? Everything was going so well. Why did that hellion have to die? Another banshee comes in, and it will be chased away from that area by the scan. But not a lot of scan energy left here for Mava, losing additional SCVs, trying to get the turret up. But with the 10 kill banshee starting to pick off tanks, this is not looking good for the spooky Terry. Just. Oh, uh, Excal playing an excellent game. Running out of scan range, but doesn't quite make it. The Vikings do get that kill. And One more Banshee down. Is he continuing to produce Banshees? No. Here come the Hellbat drops. So, Hellbats were nerfed. Well, okay. So he doesn't have an armory, which means it won't be a Hellbat drop. It'll yeah, just be a regular up Hellion, Hellion drop. drop. Uh, Hellbats were nerfed so that they don't fit in the medevac anymore. They get fatter when they transform. In addition to getting those hit points, they also gain additional cargo space. Well, there's there's not a lot of horizontal spacing in the uh, the medevac's little bay area, yeah. but there's a lot of vertical clearance, so they can maybe stack they just, up the Hellions two by two. Maybe what they really did was upgrade the footroom in the medevacs. Footroom? Think of, think about that. Yeah, they, so they can't put it as many ways. 
Ooh, an Excal with some great micro on those Hellions. Keeps all of them alive against the counter Hellions. Picks them up before the tanks arrive. And Boom, and boosting Medivac away. boosts away. Oh, that's so cool. He will run into turret range and start losing Hellions to those tanks. But... I was focusing out before getting some kills, but he only manages, got one. He manages to not like pick up two. one of the Hellions, and he drops a couple, as well as putting those tanks in disarray. And, uh, yeah. Why, why do you need an army if all you need to do is make sure he never has more than 12 workers at one time? Yeah, so in the supply count, you can see it's 43 to 100. Uh, red sort of dominating the scoreboard right now. Excal in a really good position more than doubling his opponent's drones, which is super bad for your chances of winning. You're so weirdly Zerg. <laughs> Nobody has drones in this game. Sorry, SCVs. The Vikings will be patrolling around, trying to see anything they can. If there's some uh, entrenched defenses out here. Just tank. One tank. Saying hi to some Just, Vikings. Uh, this is a really weird scenario. Yeah. So, hey guys. <laughs> Can you shoot at things that aren't on your plane, on are on your like level of in plane? I can't your shoot plane. up. Cool, we can't shoot yeah, down. Can't shoot Let's down. leave. Let's chill. Oh, and the widow mine <laughs> hitting another Viking and wounding that one again. They are not the best of friends. It's it's possible the widow mine is more surprised than the Vikings that it gets to keep killing Vikings. That's not a prime Viking murder spot, to my knowledge. Excal scouting forward, finding that siege line. Noting where that is, bringing up a couple additional troops here. Has three Hellions, four Widow Mines, one of which is just about to get off the cooldown. Scanning ahead, checking that siege line. This is, uh, this is a pretty good position for Mava. Excal's gonna have a hard time making this work right now. Oh, and he only gets one shot, he has oh. to drop another scan. And the Widow Mine gets away! Oh, gets away! <laughs> just as he starts researching drilling claws to make that even faster and more annoying. And he's getting <laughs> upgrades from his armory in addition to the drilling claws. This is going to be some nasty mech-on-mech -mech tank fighting. And Mava, valiantly sticking in this game, is building another command center. So he's saying, you know what, I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> he's not giving up, he's not going all in. He is just building another command center and chilling out with his great siege line right here. If at first you do not macro macro more until the game ends which it's is the will, least eloquent thing i've heard because you can't macro <laughs> please stop sorry it can't be poetic when things are this lopsided uh, <laughs> okay what a turret ring out here for xcal he was thoroughly defended on I mean, his northeastern front but oh and he saves the viking come on Come down here. I dare you. Oh, no. Oh, he burrows the Widow Mine. Oh, One no. does get off and nails another Viking. Widow Mine's the anti-Viking. Clearly. Now, I don't know about this one. When his army was on top of it, he wouldn't have actually wanted that to go off because it would hurt all his tanks, but I guess that's okay. Excal's other Widow Mine. Will it get another Viking? Oh, it burrows in! No! No missile. No missile. No missile. It didn't get it. Nope. Medivac flying away. We might see some sneaky play if he oh, kills. Seriously. If he kills every well, this, SCV. Oh, the Hellion sees it. If Excal actually noticed, he did have vision of that Medivac for just a moment it, via the Hellion. You gotta react to it. If he kills 30 of your SCVs with this drop. Oh, oh and Mava sees that he doesn't have the air advantage anymore. He has very few advantages left. GG's as the Captain Banshee comes back to haunt the Spooky Terran. And Palantir ties it up 2-2. Mava, hats off to you. That was a horrible situation to be in. <laughs> really and made the best of it. Yeah, you, you didn't give up. You didn't give in to despair. You kept trying and plugging away. And watch out for Widow Mines, man. <laughs> Just You can't. Those are invisible. I know. <laughs> All right, we will be right back with game five. This one's going all the way to the ace match. I'm so excited we finally have an ace match. We'll see you there. <laughs> 